the rumor mill is alive right now about Apple's headset. Trouble is, with so many stories floating about, it's hard to make out what's really going on with it, and more importantly, how it will work. Last week, we understand that Apple called in their top 100 executives to have a full hands-on close-up look at it in action, and the reactions were mixed. We still have no date for WWDC, and that could very well be because of the headset. They are desperate to finally preview at the developers' event, but are likely holding back to iron out last-moment niggles before sending out the invites. Whatever, though, it means that the wait for the mixed reality headset is nearly over. We could potentially be only eight or 10 weeks away from laying our eyes on it for the first time. So as it's about to get real, Marcus and I have put our heads together and have gathered as much information together as possible to come up with this video. Our aim in it is to walk you through Apple's AR, VR headset experience, all of it, wearing, charging, and using. This video should help bring the headset to life for you. And by the end of it, you should have a real feel of what it's going to be like to own and use the headset. Now look, we're not saying this is exactly how it'll end up looking. What we are showing you is our interpretation of how it will look. But, but what we have nailed, we think, is the essence of what Apple will deliver this summer. So let's waste no more time and start with unboxing Apple's mixed reality headset. The packaging will be typical Apple, classy and minimalist. Opening the box will reveal a sleek and sophisticated case that will hold the headset. The case will be made from folded leather and woven fabric, something very similar to AirPod Max. This will be essential to Apple's intended unified and hands-free experience, which we'll come on to a little bit later. Inside, you'll find the headset held in an elastic pouch at the front and a wireless battery pack in the slot at the back. Both devices will use wireless charging to interact with each other in the case. We see the headset visor being somewhere between ski goggles and glasses. They'll use their familiar aero-grade aluminium, super strong and lightweight carbon fiber and innovative mesh fabrics. All of this is to ensure that it's as light as possible, probably, we think, under 150 grams. The strap is said to have integrated audio and magnets to help it fold down. Our take is it will be a mixture of hard and soft parts wrapped in a 3D knit fabric, like a, an Apple watch band, for instance, for the most comfortable fit over longer periods. New bands and designs will likely be released in the future, again, much like the bands for Apple Watch. Since this will be a pro product, we expect MacBook Pro style detailing, curved edges and black air vent cuts. We think it'll include a button and crown like AirPod Max, a quick and easy interaction. And next, we're gonna take you through the user experience. Now, the first thing you'll need to do will be to sing the case over your shoulder and pull out the folded headset. As you unfold the headset and put it on, the headset will turn on automatically, and that's when some Apple magic will begin. First, it will either use a rear camera or front cameras to capture an updated view of your face. This will be used later to recreate a lifelike avatar. It will also use sensors in the light sill face gasket with machine learning to move your avatar face to exactly match yours. Then it will use hidden cameras on the sides, bottom and top to capture light information about your surroundings. All that information combines to generate a light pattern from the peripheral display. This will help increase the field of view or the FOV from the reported 120 degrees. Crucially, it will also help prepare your eyes for the super bright screens that you're about to use. Finally, using an iris camera and sensors, the device will reposition the screens to exactly match your face, allowing the lens to get as close as possible to your eyes. Okay, it's time to put it on. So now you're wearing the headset, but it still needs to be connected to the main power unit. We think the cable that will connect the power pack will be integrated into the strap of the sling, making it super easy to grab. Keeping the cable concealed not only looks good though, if these headsets start being worn in office environments, then a few exposed cables that can be potentially caught on things such as desks, the better. Because it's magnetic, you'll easily be able to grab around and reach for the back of the headset. It'll connect magnetically without you having to look or fumble to connect it. We see it as being a version of MagSafe. As you look through the headset, you'll notice that it's like looking through a transparent screen with the edges of your vision filled in by light surrounding the lens optics, creating an effect that feels like you're wearing a pair of normal goggles. The headset will use two Sony 4K micro OLED displays with a pixel density of 30 ppd. Human vision, for reference, is 60 pixels per display. The lenses use a form of pancake optics which are extremely clear and thin but require the displays to run very, very bright. These panels provide stunning and unparalleled visuals. As good as these displays will be though, there is still some way to go before we can't tell the difference from what we can see with the human eye. 
The XR headset would also have a range of sensors hidden around the front of the device that use LiDAR and camera technology to supply images to the eyes and track both your environment and body. Hidden cameras on the bottom, sides and top of the device track your mouth, feet and hands and will provide lighting information to the headset for digital objects so they match perfectly. And now it's time to get going. So what can you expect to do with this groundbreaking device? Well, we think there'll be a few major use cases, mostly tied to Apple's entertainment ecosystem. First, Apple is creating a whole new operating system called XROS or Reality OS that will use simplified air gestures to combine with line of sight to create an innovative new interaction. Although we can't say for certain how the OS will function or appear, we have envisioned several potential use cases. Firstly, it can revolutionize the way we consume TV and media by providing an immersive experience with devices such as Apple TV, IMAX, and 3D films, such as the recently released Avatar. It could also transform the way we watch live events, such as sport, music, and theater shows, like a, like a Disney show, for instance. Or imagine suddenly being able to be sitting courtside at a match. Additionally, it could be utilized for sports training and immersive exercise. It could even serve as a unified interface for all Apple devices, allowing you to access your phone, Mac, and external screens seamlessly. It could provide a lifelike video call experience, which could be ideal for remote work, corporate meetings, and communication. To ensure that the user feels less isolated while wearing the device, we have incorporated a front-facing display that replicates the user's view to an outside observer. This will give the impression that the user is simply wearing a pair of glasses or goggles. And if the battery runs out while you're using it and needs to be replaced, the device will be designed to have an easy removal of the battery pack. It will be able to be replaced while the user is still wearing and using it. The pack will be able to be replaced with a new one, which importantly will keep the experience going without interruption using that onboard handover battery. Once you finish with it, you'll simply pull the headset off, which will automatically disconnect the back cable, and that will reattach itself to the strap. Then you'll fold the headset and slide it back into the front pouch, which will automatically turn it off and begin recharging its internal battery. And that's how we see the Apple headset experience start to finish. But what about you, though? What are your thoughts? We'd love to hear what you think Apple will give us this summer. We put a great deal of thought and effort into this design, and we're confident that it's a direction that Apple will take. However, as with all new technology, there may be some unforeseen changes and adaptations that alter the final product before it comes to market. So this is just our interpretation. But equally, we think we've nailed what it's gonna be like to use it. Guys, you can imagine how much hard work this has taken to make these renders in this video and to make this video come to life. First, I must say a massive thanks to my renders genius, Marcus, Marcus Kane. And if you've enjoyed watching what we've made for you, hitting that like button and giving a sub really, really would be amazing. It would go a long way to let us make more of these videos for you in the run-up to the headset's final release. In the meantime, hang around and have a look at some other videos that Marcus and I have worked on. This one here about the MacBook Pro, or what about this one over here about iPhone 15? Thanks for watching, and don't forget, let's have your ideas about what you think is coming with Apple's AR VR headset, and I'll catch you next week.